What's going on guys? In this one we're going to be talking about neon tetras and whether or not you should add them to your tank or set up a tank specifically for them. So first off, these guys are indigenous to South America, specifically Peru, Colombia, and Brazil, kind of the northern slash western part of the Amazon. Now while that is their native range, they're one of the most popular aquarium fish. So about one and a half million of these guys are imported and bred every month in the United States, which means these guys are super widely available. Pretty much any pet store you're gonna to go to is gonna have these in stock. If they don't have them in stock now, they're gonna have them in stock next week when they get them back in. As far as setting up an aquarium for these guys go, they only grow up to about an inch, inch and a half, so they are technically a nano fish. But that being said, they do typically require at least a 10 gallon tank because they are a schooling fish. So with any schooling fish, a good rule of thumb is to get at least six of them. That way they're more comfortable in their habitat and they can go back to that natural schooling behavior. If you get less than that, they're going to be a lot more prone to stress, which makes them more prone to disease as well. They live about six to eight years in captivity, so it's not too long. Uh, if you get these guys and get a tank set up for them, it's not going to be forever. So they pair with most other fish pretty well because they're not aggressive. So as long as any other fish you're adding to the tank need the same requirements and aren't aggressive as well, they're going to cohabitate really well. These guys can actually live in a large range of temperature. So for anywhere from about 70 to 81 degrees, I keep our tank about 78 degrees and they seem to do really well with that. As far as feeding goes, they're pretty easy. Any high quality tropical fish food that you can get at your local pet store will be great. I like to supplement with some freeze dried blood worms as well, which makes them go crazy. They definitely love those. So typically I'll mix a little bit of that into their regular food or I'll just keep them separate and I'll sprinkle in a couple. Those blood worms really help accentuate all their colors and make them a little brighter as well. They're super good looking fish. They got that blue stripe along their back and then that red stripe down in the middle going back to their tail. So they're super beautiful fish, which is what makes them so common and so popular in the aquarium trade. One thing to know with these guys though, is when they're stressed, they actually do lose a bit of color. So when you're keeping these guys, as long as they're keeping that nice neon blue and red streaks in there and that color's looking good, that typically means they're healthy. These guys are a super awesome beginner fish. I definitely recommend them, especially if you're just getting started or even if you're gonna add them to another tank that you already have set up get six or 12 or 20 of these guys when they start that schooling behavior it's super cool to watch especially with all those bright colors just flashing around the tank as always guys thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to drop a like and hit subscribe if you'd like to see a little bit more in the future thanks for watching